so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to talk about how you can move your camera along with your curve and how you can create that kind of camera movement animation in the blender with the help of the follow path constrainer so without any further delay now let's get started the tutorial and in this video we are going to talk about each and everything how we can use the follow path constrainer and how we can animate our camera something like that here you can see it's looking really cool and very smooth and here you can see if i'm just going to pause my animation so here you can see we have a one uh, curve here here you can see we have that kind of curve line here and that camera going to follow this curveness basically here you can see it's going to follow exactly this curve when that curve going to turn our camera also going to turn here you can see so how we can create that kind of effect and that kind of animation as well we'll talk about each and everything so let's start the tutorial so here you can see guys here we have a, a little scene here here you can see we have a little city scene here and I have just created this curve basically using the a Bezier curve. Okay, that is very basic thing basically. You have just add your Bezier curve. Then you have to just go to edit mode of this Bezier curve pressing the tab. And then you can just extrude it something like that. And you will see same curve which is I have here created. Here you can see. Okay, so you can create your curve according to your requirement. So I'm not going to create a curve again because I have already created one curve according to our scene. Okay, you can create your curve according to your requirement, according to your desire, where you want to move your camera. Okay, so it's up to you. But here I'm just going to show that that trick where you can use that trick and you will get the perfect smooth and follow the path animation. So first of all, I'm just going to move my first frame and here you can see into my camera i have used the one follow path constrainer also here you can see if i'm just going to show you here so here i have used the follow path constrainer we'll also talk about each and everything so first of all i just want to delete this constrainer and then i'm just going to delete this camera as well okay and then i'm just going to add the a new camera pressing the shift a okay pressing the shift a and here i'm just going to add the new camera and then i'm just going to add the a camera view here basically okay so right now our camera is here here you can see that is our camera so i'm just going to rotate this camera according to our path basically i'm just going to rotate it something like that and something like that as well so i think we can see into our scene here you can see it should be perfect 90 and this should be zero and this should be also 90 so here you can see we have our camera into our scene here you can see here you can see we have uh, that camera frame basically okay so that's look fine then we'll just add the uh, constrainer into our camera so then i'm just going to add the follow path constraint into our this camera basically so here you can see so when you add the follow path constrainer so you will see that kind of uh, bluish relationship line happening here okay so what you have to do first of all you have to just select your target object so in this case uh, our target object is basically a basic curve so i'm just going to select this knob path okay so when i'm just going to select this knob path so that camera going to move here to here okay so first of all we have to just move our camera simply here to here something like that okay yeah you have to just move your camera here to it something like that yeah that's look fine i think we have to just move from the top view yeah that's look fine okay and then what you have to do you have to just uh, select this animate path option and when you're just going to select this animate part option and when you have to just hit the uh, space bar into your scene so that camera going to move according to your path something like that here you can see but right now here you can see there is one problem that camera not going to move according to exactly our path it's going to straight basically here it's not going to move according to your path here you can see if it's going to move here to here it should be move it but it's not going to move it's just going to follow this path okay so how you can exactly get the perfect uh, movement into your camera so for that what you have to do you have just like this follow curve when you're going to enable this follow curve option so now here you can see when i'm just going to a uh, top view now it's going to follow this curve exactly here you can see now it's going to follow exactly this curve as well and here you can see now that slope perfect and here we get the a perfect animation okay so if you want a perfect smooth animation so make sure you just enable this follow curve option and you can just also enable this curve radius option as well you will get a more smoothness into your uh, animation basically okay here you can see now that's look fine 
if you want to increase and decrease your speed of your camera animation so you have to just select your curve then you have to just go to your curve property and from here you have to just uh, increase the and decrease the number of frame from here so i'm just going to decrease the number of frame to 50 so now what happened that animation going to very fast here you can see now it's going to very fast and if you want to slow this animation then you have to just simply increase the number of frames that's i'm just going to increase the 1000 and here i'm also going to set the 1000 so now it's going to very smooth here you can see so it's depend up to you uh, what kind of animation you want smooth animation fast animation you can just control from this path animation uh, section basically okay but 500 is look fine to me so that's why i just choose the 500 frame and which look fine basically here you can see that animation look fine to me okay so if you want to use it so you can use these setting as well okay so that's how you can uh, move your camera along with your path and that's how you can create uh, that kind of smooth animation with the help of the follow path constrainer as well so i hope you enjoyed this video so thanks for watching this video guys if you learned something in this video please hit the like button the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys